Welcome, everybody, to a new episode of Critical and Thinking Podcast. I'm Ty Barnett. I'm Ian Harris. And, uh, yeah, we don't know when this is airing. This might be airing this week. It might be airing a couple weeks. We recorded three back-to-back. But, um, but yeah, because we're going to be going on vacation. We're going to be doing some work. We're going to be yeah. gone for a couple weeks or so putting some stuff together here. And, Stockpiling um, shit. So, uh, so, yeah, so, uh, you know, I want to talk about, we, we talked about some... Um, some light. We've been talking about some lighthearted stuff. Which let's get back to. We're gonna talk a little bit about some stuff that's in the in the news. Uh, um, I don't know where to start, man. I mean, we every start day. With the, let's start with the um, shootings. The shootings. <laughs> let's start with the shootings. <laughs> the the lightest of the topics. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw this, but there was a here in L- the Costco here, shooting here in L.A. There was a cop. There was a guy who um, he used a lot of bullets. He was a cop. He is a cop. I'm sure he'll still be a cop even after the trial. Unfortunately, he will um, be. He uh, he was an off-duty cop in Costco, and the story goes, of course, I'll, I'll bring this up in a second, but, but he had a kid with him. I don't know if it was a toddler or a baby, but he had a kid with him. He got into some sort of verbal altercation with somebody, and he ended up shooting and killing one and putting two uh, in the hospital. One's in a coma, one is in critical condition. He but shot all there. three of them. Shot three people. Now, let's, who are the three people that he shot? A mom and a dad. He shot a 60-something-year-old mom and dad that apparently, everyone says, are the nicest people on the planet, and their son, who's in his 20s or 30s, but um, but he was mentally handicapped. They said he had the, the now mental his, capacity his was of a crazy. teenager. His was crazy. They said that he got in a verbal altercation. But the kid doesn't talk. How's that happen? Or doesn't so now we're finding out that maybe they bumped into him, and he maybe he yelled at the guy, and the guy freaked out a little bit. So he shot him. He had his gun because he's a cop and he's off duty. But here's the thing: the kid that he was holding. First off, you're shooting people with your kid in your hand. Uh, the kid he was holding doesn't have a scratch on him. So, what kind of assault warrants the deadly force of a guy and his two parents? Old people. Old people. When the kid you're holding doesn't have a scratch on it. None. You. I don't care. Like so, so one of my cousins said, well, let's wait and see what the video shows from the store. Fuck that. I don't, no, that's there's fine. no let's, scenario. Let's, there's no scenario. None. There's no scenario that you kill a person and his two parents with a gun that were unarmed. And I even still. I don't care if they yelled at you, I'm going to fucking kill you and now you're a fan. I don't care what they and, yell at you. And even still, and this is, and, and let me be very clear when I say this, because a lot of people like to jump on words and act like you're attacking the entire police force. I want to be very clear when I say this. Not all cops are bad. I'm saying that from personal experience. Not all cops are bad. But there are some shitty cops out there. There are cops that should not be allowed to have a badge out there. You damn sure shouldn't have a fucking weapon. You don't have the mental capacity to do it. But for some reason, in this country, we love to give these motherfuckers a free pass to do whatever they do. You should have to have the mental capacity to deal with people in general. This dude, you can tell that he doesn't. The dude, the, the guy that got killed, didn't have the mental capacity to even have a verbal, and he literally can't talk. And you shoot his parents? Let me tell you something. At some point, you got to stop acting like just because these people graduated from a school that doesn't even really have that higher standard education-wise, you got to stop giving them a pass to do this bullshit. And you have, if you're one of the good cops out there and you're not saying anything about these people, fuck you too. Well, but more importantly, I mean, I, I will say that, that, well, not more importantly, but in addition to, I agree when you say, yeah, obviously not all cops are bad. I'm not going to say that. But, and even the ones that aren't bad, this guy might not be bad. Like, he might not have ill intent. He might not be a bad person. But the fact is, he's completely ill-equipped. That's my point. To do it, to do the job. He's scared. You should not be fucking that scared to where you're scared of two six, a 60-year-old couple and at a Costco. shouldn't be allowed to have a weapon. Right. If you're that scared, what the fuck are you doing having a licensed weapon? And furthermore, I kind of feel, and I'm probably getting shit for this, but I feel that a lot of cops, not all, I'm going to say it again, not <laughs> all cops, so don't be like, oh, you just said all cops are, a lot of cops, and maybe the fucking majority, go there because they have fucking issues. Yes. Almost, every, I know a lot of cops. I've trained co- most of the cops I know that I've known for a long time before they were cops, not all, <laughs> most, <laughs> many. I'm gonna type this up were, on the bottom of the screen. Not we're, all. <laughs> we're, we're fucking people who got picked on. Right. They were fucking guys that were like, I like killing shit and it's illegal. 
unless I got a, like, right. or, or those guys who are like, I like hunting. Too bad it wasn't a human running. For, I, like, those kind of people that, it's the same kind of people that I know that, that like, a lot of people I know that joined the military, they didn't do it because they're like, I'm going to serve my country. They did it because they're like, man, I fucking love shooting shit. Yeah. A lot. And don't, let's not pretend that, the, that that's not the case. And you, and you, you have to stop. We, we don't have to put every, we're not lumping everybody in the same group. No, but there are a lot. I mean, but there, I, but there are, but there are a lot of people that are fucking it up for a lot of people. You're at Costco, man. You're at Co- first of all, you should have. And I, I got to come back to the mental capacity of these people. Well, doesn't he have training? Couldn't he have? Uh, couldn't That's he, could, my point. Couldn't he have done? I, if that were me and a guy physically attacked me, I'd just take his ass down and choke him out. I wouldn't fucking have to shoot him. Exactly. Put the baby down. Yes. Which is again, yeah. you, you think Hand it's better baby, to shoot some? Give the baby the gun. <laughs> <laughs> Even the baby's like dad. dad really. Come on, g- g- come, g- coming g- down, g- coming g- down. But but I mean that's the thing. So you you don't learn how to you don't. They're called peace officers. Don't you learn how to fucking keep Hold the, peace? the peace? You're not even on fucking duty. You're off duty. Exactly. The off duty cop that shot the kid in the mm-hmm. theater for talking mm-hmm. in the movie theater. Yeah. Magda says uh, some want, some want an easy job with benefits and not qualified. No pride in the job, just a paycheck. Yeah. And that is exactly what I'm trying to... Well, you're at, not doing the job, because hold on, when they say to protect and serve, which, by the way, you know some of these cops took that off, off of their, their cop cars? Oh, yeah? To protect and serve. They take that off. They, they right. don't even have that on anymore. Because when you... And, and, and let me come back to it real quick. I, for the good ones, only the good cops, I have mad respect... Right. With the good cops, why? Because I couldn't do it. Well, and you know, and you know that you're putting yourself it. in danger. Yeah, I wouldn't even think. I'm not putting myself in danger for people that I don't know. Well, why are all these I'm people that are, that are scared, so scared of danger, keep putting themselves in a position? Exactly. That have, the job ain't for you, dummy. It, exactly. Give it to the guys pick, that are the heroes. Pick something else and pick. You should. There should be a psych, The psychological exam should be just as, if not more, more so than the than the the than the physical, the shooting, the training, and all that stuff. Because you don't want to have to use your weapon. To, to, we talked about this in a previous uh, podcast about disciplining your kids, and you said that should. Some people say this should be a last resort if you have to put your hand on the kids. If you become a peace officer and you go peace officer and you go to training and you do all this stuff, they should teach you your last resort. And Ian teaches martial arts. The last resort is to actually get violent. Well, right? also, and also, here, here's the thing that I learned. I learned this in martial arts. And now, this could be bullshit. I'm not, uh, if there, my skeptic friends out there call me on this, I don't fucking know. Just what I've heard and what I've read, again, I don't know if, it, if it's in every state, if it's, even, if it's just a myth, I'm not sure. But it does make logical sense to me that we are always taught, like, you know, there's the old, which I think is a myth, the old, if you're a black belt, your hand, you got to register your hands as deadly weapons. Right. Remember, they used to always do that. Because you're, supposedly you can kill somebody, so it's a weapon. But I've always been taught to teach that if somebody attacks you, like say you pull out a knife and you go to stab me, and I disarm the knife. What's up, Robert? If I disarm you, I can now, now use the knife against you or right. I become the aggressor because you are unarmed and I am armed. Right. So if, if you go, if you're robbing a bank or whatever, and I leave, go home and get my gun and come back and shoot you, I am now an aggressor, aggressor, if I'm not a cop, of course, maybe, but because I've already removed myself from the situation. If you're yelling at me like, look, motherfucker, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to fuck you up. And I go, hey, man, I'm out of here. I go to my car and I come back in with a baseball bat and hit you in the head. I am now the aggressor right. because I left the situation. Right. I left. That's yeah. all I needed to do was leave. That's it. If I can't leave and I'm stuck in a corner and I got nothing to do but grab a baseball bat and hit you, that's self-defense. Exactly. If I can get out of the situation and come Without back. Without doing that. If two old, if two, if an, old el- people, if an elderly couple is yelling at me in a Costco, I pr- and I've got my kid, I probably have other recourse other than to fucking shoot you. Did you ever see? Uh, Con- Come on. Did you ever see Con Air with uh, Nicolas yeah. Cage and John Malkovich yes. playing the bad guy? <laughs> um, when he comes back from training, uh, from the military, he comes back home, and some people at a bar, uh, they're hitting on his woman and all that stuff. So they follow him outside. They follow him outside, and the guy pulls a knife out on Nicholas Nicholas Cage's character, and the, and he's for, and there's three of them. There's three of these dudes, so he beats the shit out of them, and the guy has a knife, and Nicholas Cage pushes his nose into his brain. Right. right? The, Talk when about the, a myth, by the way. <laughs> right, but then, wait, that's not real. <laughs> uh, but then they, when they go to court, the first thing the judge says is, due to your training, your extensive training, you 
you knew what you were doing with your hands and their deadly weapons and all of that. So you, right. that's why they sent them. So I'm, I, I know it's a movie and everything, but right. my whole point is, and to your point, is that once you've already disarmed that person, and you got a gun, we're talking, we ain't talking about a knife, we're talking about a gun. What, how do you fix your brain to shoot two old people? And if you have to fire a shot, what happened to warning shots? Cops don't shoot in the leg anymore. They, right. they, they don't shoot to maim anymore. When, when, when did they stop that training? When did that? Right. So or shoot into a four hundred pack of toilet paper. Boom. It. You're in Costco. Pull it, or <laughs> even still, pull the weapon out. Yeah. Hey man, back the fuck up. If you even, I'm saying, if you have to do the pussy route, if right. you have to go the pussy route, because that's what I'm calling it. Right. If you got to go the pussy route. Pull it out and just say, hey, man, back up. Because you don't think that those parents would have got that kid and say, hey, no, no, no. There's right. no trouble here. We're good. That That's all you had to do. But you got to pull it. Could you imagine what you had to do to pull your weapon out and shoot three times? Three times, not one. And like, oh, shit. Pop, pop, pop. You're not fit for the job, bro. Yeah. You're not fit for that, for that badge or anything like that. And I'm telling you, but if they let this dude get off, then you're only sending a message to people that says this because we ain't even got to the other one, the well, other, well, the other, the other cop pulling the gun thing. We, when you we get to well, that you, one, did you see? Did you see Minnesota? Minnesota, you remember Philando Philando yeah, Castillo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you see the other one? Yeah, the the the, the, the white lady that and they gave her twenty million. They gave the family twenty million. And the black Muslim cop who shot her got the, got prison. That's right. And guess what? I didn't hear anything from the Blue Lives Matter people. I didn't huh. hear one thing from the All Lives Matter people. I didn't hear anything right. from those people. Not one person stood up for this cop. Not one and, fucking person. And, and, and nowhere did I hear people go, well, she was resisting. Not one person said it. She was resisting. Orlando Castile's Here's family, the by the way, only got three million. And, 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 and by the way, let me ask you a question. Is it resisting arrest if you're not being arrested? No. I mean, that's what they always go. You're resisting arrest, sir. He was resisting arrest. When a guy comes up and goes, put your hands up. What am I doing? You're resisting arrest. No, I'm asking. You first off, you haven't told me I'm under you arrest. You told me I was under arrest. Second of all, I can ask, what am I being put under arrest for, sir? That's right. That's not resisting arrest. Now, I'm gonna, for those of you who are listening, not watching, this is the white guy talking, so you don't call bullshit and go, that's not true. You would have been shot. <laughs> uh, multiple times I've been pulled over by cops for no reason and, and, said, and said, like, the fuck are you pulling me over for? And I swear to you, multiple did, times. Did you say, what the fuck are you pulling me oh, over yeah. for? Oh, yeah. Wow. And I've said I've said that before. And, and had the, I've no, never I had this conversation with a cop one time. <laughs> I was a teenager, but this cop the cop goes, "Don't swear at me, sir." I go, "I'm not swearing at you. I'm just swearing in general because it's fucking bullshit." And he's like, "You say that again, I'm gonna arrest you." I go, "You can't arrest me for swearing. I can say fuck all I want." He goes, "I can I can arrest you for swearing. You're 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 resisting arrest." I'm like, "You're oh now I'm resisting. You're gonna arrest me for resisting an arrest that you're not arresting me for. You're pulling me over and you're telling me to stop using the English language. You can't." Fucking tell me to stop using the English language. I've uh, had cops go, if to, you say that again, I'm going to arrest you. You can't arrest me to, for saying fuck. Sorry, you can't. all the people out there that You'd don't have, been have the same skin tone <laughs> as Ian Harris, please don't try this at home. <laughs> please don't try this at home. Well, this is also, say, you know, but, but my point is that they're authoritarian douchebags. Right, right, right. What, a guy who, come, who pulls you over and says, you talk the way I wanted you to talk, or I'm going to arrest you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not the not, verbal, not, you're not the vocabulary police, bro. Right. It's it's not you did something wrong. It's you comply to my every wish, or you get legal shit put against you. But that's you. why I say a lot of these people had, and this is to uh, Magda's point, what she said earlier. A lot of these people just want a job with benefits, and they don't have to have any kind of real training. A lot of these cats come from backgrounds where they were either bullied or they love to be the bully, and they now it's, it's payback time. Well, that's for, it. Yeah. for a lot of for a lot of these people, and this is why I say you can't keep giving these people this authority and these badges because they don't know how to honor them. And again, I have to come back to the good cops. I can tell you right now, man. Let's say you and I are cops, but you're a dirty cop, right? Right. Of course. <laughs> I got to give you that example. If I know you're a dirty cop, if I know that you're out there fucking it up for the good cops, I got to turn you in, bro, because you know what? I might just be sitting in my squad car and someone takes a shot at me right. just because I'm a, sh a cop in general. It, but, but, it trips me out that these good cops don't want to out these bad yeah, but, ones. I'm but, like, why would you not? I'll tell you why. Because gangs Hilarious. don't snitch on each Hilarious. other. But that's my point, But man. they're a gang. 
They are a gang. Um, Anyone who says dude, otherwise is lying. They're a fucking the gang. If I want to make it home to my family every night, bro, I got to get rid of the people that are fucking up this reputation. Because when you out there, a kid ain't going to come up to you and say, hey, man, before I shoot you, uh, because a cop did this, such as, are you one of the good ones? They're not going to do that. They're just going right. to shoot at the uniform. And the fact that you keep protecting these people that are either racist, ignorant, or just corrupt. Or scared. Or scared. The biggest one. Why I would you do it? I, I wouldn't want that. I wouldn't want to take that chance. I'm not, I want to be riding with somebody. Well, the, did you see the, did you see the one a couple years ago? The, the guy, who, the, the, the exterminator who got shot in the hotel room? No. Dude, that's gnarly. It's, it's the videos out there. So a guy apparently was an exterminator, and he was in a hotel or a motel or whatever, and he was somebody saw him through the window cleaning a pellet gun that he used to kill rats oh. or whatever. So he comes out. I think he's with a girl. saying so he comes out of his room, and the cops have been called, man with a gun in a room. And, and he comes out, and they've got a full SWAT team with, like, the laser sights and, like, fucking assault, and they're all high, you know, behind the thing, and there's, like, ten of them, and, they're, and the guy comes out, and they're like, Get on the floor! Get on the floor! And he's like, and the guy's like, what, what, what's going on? And, he, and, he's, and he's literally crying. He's like, what are you doing? And they're like, what are you doing? Where's the gun? He goes, I don't have a gun. Oh, there's a gun. And he's like telling him, I forgot, like, there's a pellet gun in the other room or whatever the deal is. And then he's like, and I think they make him take his, he's in his underwear, or they take his clothes off or something, take, and he's there, and they're like, the guy's like, get on your knees, put one over hand here, do the oh, hokey pokey. And, he, and that. he's doing all this kind of shit, and the guy literally falls. Falls, and they shoot him, and they shoot him dead. Yeah. I and they, and he goes, oh, he was reaching for his gun. He didn't have a gun, but because he tried to catch himself, he didn't keep his hands up. And when he yeah. went like this, they shot him. And he was like a thousand times, please don't shoot me. I have done nothing wrong. I don't know, even know what you're doing here. Don't shoot me. And the guys with this fucking military, the guy who had the thing engraved on, like, like kill them all or yeah, some yeah. shit on his yeah, fucking yeah. thing. Whatever like, happened to the... Well, I'm sure he got off. I'm sure he got a promotion. Um, so he's probably chief of something. Um, yeah, it's fucking crazy. So, so that, like, that brings me to the next one. And honestly, dude, I there are times, man, where I'm just like, I gotta stop watching the news. I gotta stop thinking about it because it's it's just depressing. You're talking about the girl, or the the, the doll, the, the doll, yeah. yeah. So in Arizona, Arizona, so, I can't believe it. Surprise, um, Florida uh, light. Oh my god, man! So a family, uh, African American family, uh, is leaving a Dollar Tree. I don't believe a, it. A Dollar Tree store, right? And apparently the kid, the the, the child, the was baby. It, was it a Dollar Tree? It's like a Dollar Tree, bro. <laughs> a Dollar Tree. A fucking Dollar Tree, So bro. it's a, whatever, at the Dollar Tree, by the way, everything really is a dollar. Yes. Some of those ones where they're like, everything is a dollar or more. Oh, so you mean a store? Exactly. Uh, <laughs> this so is actually a dollar. The, the, the family leaves, apparently the child, the baby, the baby, I want to say it again, baby takes a doll and leaves with it. This has happened numerous times, and it, a kid does this. That yeah. where the kid will take something. And the I've done it not with know. the doll, but I've grabbed food and like not even paid attention. Even and even oh know. shit! I ate a candy bar. Shit. Right, you know what I'm saying? And you don't even know, but the kid took it. They didn't know, so they leave. So I guess the the which again, this is fucked up on the part of the store, by the way, because the store could have easily just went outside and said, "Hey, your kid yeah. took the thing." You oh, here's easily, a dollar. Yeah, you could have <laughs> easily de-escalated or not even had it escalate because so they called the cops which by the way you know goddamn well calling the cops on a black family in arizona telling them that they stole something you know right. goddamn well what's going to happen it's not going to end great it's not going to be a good situation you know what you're fucking doing so i i i gotta throw shade and call bullshit on the, the people who called from the dollar tree you could have walked out of the store and said excuse me your kid took something and they would have easily just it's a dollar right who the fuck it's a dollar. Yeah. So, oh, I'm sorry. Here's a dollar. So they they leave. They, the people call the cops. The cops come up, dude, and the cop not only jumps on them, the cop draws his weapon, draws his weapon on the entire family, dude, and the mom is pregnant and holding a baby. And the, he says, put your hands up. And she's like, I can't. I'm holding my baby. He's like, I don't give a fuck. Who the fuck? Man. Let me tell you, something. I'm getting a headache talking about this shit. Are you telling me that you think that dude, that fucking monster, is fit to wear a uniform? Because they didn't fire him, Ian. Yeah. They I don't give a him. fuck. You took a dollar, dude. He tells <laughs> a the dollar. He, dude, he tells the parents. I don't care if it was a car. 
a do. dollar though. He, they're right there. He said. He said. He said. I will bust the cap. In them. He threatens to kill both. He th- threatens to kill both of these kids' parents in front of them for a fucking dollar, bro. Do you understand how messed up that is? And before yeah. anybody says a fucking word out there. Don't tell me that this happens to every type of family, because it doesn't. What, but, I know a bunch of mass murderers that were taken alive. One dude was taken to fucking Burger King after he shot up a church full of black people. Stop it. Well, he, but I don't. I don't even. I, I, I'm not trying to 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 pull away from the race thing, but I don't give a fuck either way. It's it happens all the fucking time. Yes, all the fucking time. These people are. I, I will. I will. I will say that the reason I think it happens more, I've told you this before, I don't think it's necessarily an overtly racist thing all the time. I think what it is is it's a fear and culture thing. These guys are authoritarians. They want they want to be the boss of everybody. I got a gun, gun rules. Gun says what fucking, you know, right. I get to be right now. You picked on me, now I get to be right. Or I'm fucking scared, oh my God, I'm going to pull out my gun because I'm scared of my life. So I said the same thing. And... Add the racism to that. These fucking people have been taught black people are scary. Yes. So that's why it happens more with black people because they're fucking well, pussy ass little bitches and they're racist or at least subtly and this, racist and, and, and this, they're afraid and, and, more and, and, black and I people. I think that is, and, and I keep coming back to this. And, and let me let me be very clear when I say this, man. I talk about race and we talk about race in this show a lot, but let me tell you the specific reason why I talk about it. Because I love everybody, Ian. I love every culture. I, and I can't say this enough. This is one of my best friends. I'm not just saying that. This is one of my best yeah, friends. Hilarious. <laughs> this is one of my best friends. He has been for fucking almost 20 years. Almost as long as I've been white, too. Pretty much. Yeah. So, and, 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 and I've traveled the country. I've traveled the world. I love every culture, man. I believe everybody is equal. I I I believe that to my core. So when I see blatant instances where people don't believe the same thing, it hurts my heart, bro. Right. I'm not I'm not this is not some bullshit. It hurts my heart to see this, man. I have love for everybody. So to see that there are people in this world that don't want to show that same courtesy to people just because they look different, it's I can't even wrap my brain around that. Right. And the fact that you give these people a platform, a badge, and a gun, and they go out there and they treat people... Dude, how do you threaten to shoot two parents in front of their children and sleep at night? I hope... I'm going to pull it back. <laughs> Let me pull it back. Let me pull it back. All I'm saying to you is, at some point, we have to realize in this country, we don't live in the same country. We don't. Until we fix that, these types of things are going to keep happening, bro. They right. will still keep happening. Don't give these people... If you but, don't look at everybody as equal, you shouldn't be in a, in, in, in a, in a field where you have to look wait, at but people this, equally. This is, but this is why we have Trump. Trump is one of these people. Tr- if Trump wasn't gifted billions of dollars or mi- hundreds of millions or whatever by his daddy, Trump is the kind of guy that would be a cop. He would be one of these fucking pussy ass little bitch right. cops that that. I don't cares. think he'd take that chance. No, I don't even know if he's. <laughs> I, I think he's that much. I, I don't think he'd, I, I don't he'd take that chance. No, but but <laughs> this is the same kind of thing. But look, that's what he is now. Now he thinks he's the ultimate cop, right? You talk back about me, I'm gonna fucking. I'm gonna. I'm gonna call. The, I'm. I'm gonna make it illegal. You say something I don't like, I'm going to fucking fire you. Yeah, yeah. He is the ultimate. And these people love him. These authoritarian douchebags, yeah. they, they, these bootlickers love this motherfucker because, and A, it lets them feel like they're justified. Well, I'm, I was justified in pulling a gun out on that little girl. Look at, look right. at Trump. He would have done it. Like, that's what. And, 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 and this, but this is why I say. She shouldn't have been again, stealing. But it's the law. But here's what they did, man. They didn't fire this dude. They put him on administrative leave. They put him at a desk. Let me tell you something, man. If if I know that I can threaten to kill two parents in front of their children for a fucking dollar, and you're not going to fire me, I'm going to tell you, that's going to make me feel like I didn't do anything wrong. Right. You just gave me a little punch, a little time out. This is the message that they're sending. So you have to, at some point, stop giving these people a pass because they're going to keep doing it, man. It doesn't make them get better. It just emboldens them to say, okay, well, next time, I'll just make sure I do it to where I don't get caught. And you have to stop it with these people, man. Let me tell you something, dude. Part of the reason why this country is the way it is 
is is is because we don't value everybody's life the same way. Right. And and since we don't do that, every day there's these instances of people constantly being and you see the disparities in this like we just talked about the chicken Minnesota versus the cop versus Philando Castile versus, you know, Mike Brown versus, you know, uh Dylan Roof versus, you know, all of these different people. The the same thing with the rapist. Like uh, oh, you know what? Someone brought up um I'm going to keep religion out of this. Hilarious. Uh, uh, they brought up Ted Bundy. Right. Uh, did you see the Ted Bundy documentary, by the way? I did. And some stuff I didn't know. Like, I didn't know that this dude was allowed to escape twice because they left him alone in the library. This is after he was already yeah. on trial for... Uh, several kid- murders. Sev- right. several, uh, well, kidnapping. He was kidnapping right. and, and assault, and they just left They're him They're like, the he room. was so charismatic, we just let him, exactly. let him alone by... Exactly. They let by him the way, I didn't, I didn't know he was like a Republican senator. Yes, so he used like, to work for Republican. Surprise! <laughs> uh, but, what's up, James P. Conley? I'm not surprised he's a Republican. I'm just surprised that he was in the politics, but... But he was allowed to represent himself. The judge, this is after, by the way, the judge, after he was found guilty of all of this shit, the judge says, Had well... Had dinner. Okay. Hilarious. <laughs> but he says, man, you know, I'm sorry that you took this route. I, I would have loved to work with you in the court. This is a dude who slaughtered people. Right. Now, put that in comparison to the Central Park Five, who were demonized from the beginning, and the, the prosecutor who's calling them men, they were boys. Yeah, they three were of them boys. were 14. My daughter is 14. Do you see what I'm saying? My daughter, my daughter to me is like a little kid. Exactly. So the disparity in how we view each other has always been at the core of why we have these problems. And, and I tell you, and I'm, not, and I'm not exaggerating when I tell you this, I, I'll, I'll never be the person to say I don't see color. Of course I see color. I, 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 that, I, I see it. But I don't judge by it. Right. Like I see human beings, as Magda just says, she sees human beings. I see people now. I see dead people. Hilarious. <laughs> I wonder why they never made a part two to that. Uh, but I, I, the fact that I do know that we have different cultures is what I embrace about this world. The 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 now the unfortunate part of that is that there are people who are put in positions of power that see the differences in people. And they use that as a reason to treat them a certain way. And you, sh- you that, that to me is one of the, the things that, like, if we were talking about back in the day where this is all new to everybody, okay. It, but we're in 2019, bro. 2019. And we're still having these same problems with treating each other as equals. And I'm telling you, the lack of empathy is part of the reason. This dude, this cop, he didn't see a mom and a dad with their child. Right. He saw in words. That's what he saw. Right. He he saw people that he felt was below him. He right. didn't see them as a family because he wouldn't have done that to a white family. I could tell you that a hundred percent for sure. Not yeah. over a goddamn I, I, dollar. I guarantee that for sure too. Um, yeah. I mean, it's and it's it's not getting any better. No. And, and it's only going to get worse. Trump's today said that that as part of his, I guess he, I guess he's on the campaign trail. Okay, and he uh-huh. got to go out to them races. He said that he's now going to deport millions. I'm starting a day deporting millions. Hilarious. So it's like now, now it's like got to ramp up the fucking hate. Million deportation. And, they, and they'll they'll eat it up, bro. Because oh, they will because they, they're fucking. They're also scared little fucking. And you, you got to understand something, man. You got to understand something. Divide and conquer is one of the oldest tricks in the oh, book. Yeah. And do you think this dude is personally deporting people? No, he's not. Just like he's not personally sitting in squad cars with people. Just like he's not personally going to these camps. Yeah, there are people that are complicit. And, 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 and people out there need to. These people who are putting kids in cages, they, these people, you need to fucking stop and say, I am no, I don't care if you lose your fucking job. I don't care if you get fucking, uh, you know, run through the fucking mud. You know what's right. You have to at some point have a tiny fucking bit of integrity. You fucking Republicans in the Senate, go fuck yourselves. You fucking know that Mitch McConnell is hijacking our government. Yeah. You know that he's using Trump as a useless fucking moron. Yeah. Republicans in Congress, in, 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 in the Senate, have a fucking backbone. Do something correct. Do something right for fucking once. Do something that you know is the right thing to do because it's, benefits everybody because it's part of the constitution because it's what it's following the rule of law it's doing just the fucking right thing i don't give a fuck if you lose election at some point you got to go you know what i'm gonna lose in two years when my seat's up but i don't give a shit and you know what maybe you won't fucking lose 
maybe people will go, hey, you know what? Like, like uh, Justin Am- Amash. Maybe that guy wins in a fucking landslide because some Democrats go, oh, I like this guy. And other Republicans go, I've been thinking the same thing, but I was too scared to fucking say it. Or some Republicans or whoever go, you know what? Okay, he, he broke with Trump, but he did the right thing because he's a man of principle and a man of, 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 of ethics. Do the fucking right thing. I can't fucking believe that nobody does the right thing because of their club. Let it's me. like these fucking cops you're talking about. We're the good cops not reporting the bad That's cops. That's all I'm saying. Where are the fucking good Republicans not stepping up to Trump and Mitch McConnell and saying, go fuck yourself, we're doing what's Let me, right? It, Where are they? It reminds me of a quote from D.L. Hughley, and uh, he, said, uh, he said, Obama is who we strive to be. Trump is who we are. And that, 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 that quote encompasses literally where we are right now. And the reason why I'm saying this, dude, and I got to keep coming back to it, man. You ever been at, at a, at a, at a get-together and there's all these different people around and, and all this different stuff? like uh, um, Not a clan no, rally. No, hilarious. There's no different people. Because uh, I, I, I thought about this because of something that Magna just wrote. Magna just wrote. She said, um, I embrace learning from cultures. That's, that's why I cook from... Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I, I embrace learning from cultures. That's why I cook from many cultures. I grew up with prejudice because I'm Puerto Rican and Sicilian. Neither side accepted me, but I survived. Let me tell you something. We live in a hodgepodge of different nationalities that we all benefit from. Cinco de Mayo. I don't know any racist that does not go out and <laughs> celebrate you remember Cinco to, de Mayo. I used to do a joke about that, about like asking somebody, <laughs> these white guys, hey, man, do you, do, you, do you celebrate Cinco de Mayo? They're like, Cinco de Mayo? I'm like, no, that's a, I don't celebrate another, another culture's, I don't celebrate somebody else's cultural heritage. Anyway, I'm still recovering from St. Patrick's Day. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so we, we, we go to restaurants, we eat different cultural foods, we listen to different types of music, we, 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 uh, we buy different kind of clothes, we, we, we go to concerts and hear all these different sounds from different places. We go to comedy clubs, we watch comedians from all different backgrounds right. tell these jokes. So we have the capability, we do have the capability to love everybody. It's there. I see it. I see it all the time. The part, the problem is, is that you let these other people come in and make you feel like that person that's right next to you is the person that's fucking up your life. Yeah. I hate to say this, but the only time you see us love each other is in times of catastrophe. Right. It's weird to me. September 11th happened. Everybody was, it was a love fest for like a week. Well, but then, and then everybody went back to hating each other. Have you other. noticed racist people always put shit aside for sports? Yeah, so that's I, fucking, I, forget, I totally forgot. That's Sports fucking too. weird. Like, like I've seen hardcore racists, people using the N word every other word. They're like, they will say stuff like, "Well, them, they're, they're the problem with America," and then they'll be like, "Man, come on, come on, Jordan, you got like, yeah. oh, LeBron, LeBron, man, what are you doing? Like wearing the LeBron yep. jersey, wearing the fucking Kobe jersey." I'm like, yep. you were just talking about black people Did being the problem with the world. But you're okay with your sports team winning. Did you? Did you? It's see, fucking uh, weird. Like, how do you? Just, how do you? Did you see do the right that? thing? Of course. Yeah. yeah. Remember the, the scene in the pizza place with Spike Lee and uh, John Turturro? They're talking, and he's like, who, who, "Who's your Who's your favorite basketball? Who's your favorite Who's your favorite uh, singer?" He's like, "Uh, oh, Prince." And he's like, "Who's your favorite basketball player?" No, no. He says, he says "Who's favorite basketball player?" He says, "Jordan." And he says, "Who's your favorite singer?" He says, "Uh." Uh, Prince, and then he said, somebody said, uh, I think Spike Lee said, no, you love Prince. He's like, no, it's Bruce. It's Bruce. He's like, That's not the point. The point is, <laughs> all of your Bruce. heroes, the people that you say like, are the people that you say that you don't like that live here. And he says, well, that's different. They're different people. And he's like, no, they're still black. He says, no, 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 Jordan, Jordan's a different kind of, different kind of right. person. So to your sports analogy, it's like, it's weird to me. Like, they can suspend their hatred of people but that look different than them. Until they actually get around people. That well, no, actually... that, that, that's that's it's not weird though because look at all cities, all cities, even Birmingham, Alabama, yeah, is far more blue, voting wise mm-hmm. than the rest of Alabama. Houston is blue. Dallas is mostly blue because once you get around people, and you're mixed with other people, you realize all of a sudden, oh wait, these this isn't now is no longer ignorant. Racism comes from ignorance. Yes. How many people, I know many racists, many racists, okay? I have, un- I have an uncle who, I shit you not, will, will sit around, complain about 
the goddamn Mexicans coming over here, taking his, all the goddamn jobs, working illegal, getting, 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 having babies with American women and, and white women and, and creating these anchor babies and all this kind of stuff, right? Meanwhile, the same uncle, his best friend was an illegal Mexican yep. who rented a room from him yep. and worked for him. Yep. He was his drinking buddy, and that guy had three different children from three different white girls in their town. I'm like, he's everything that you, you, say you, you say, you, and he'd be, and his, you know what his excuse was? Oh, he's all right. Exactly. Because you know him. Exactly. And this is that's what, it. This it's is because you know him. He's man, your friend. Sometimes it just takes that. Uh, we got Gary going in a little bit, but I want to tell you, and I think I, t- I told you this before. I grew growing up in Chicago, because Chicago is still a very segregated city. I know people like to think it's not when they saw Obama at the inauguration, but it really is. Um, but I, I grew up. I went to school. We were bust outside of the neighborhood. Which thank you to my mom. Thank you so sure. much. We as a kid, I'm not gonna lie. We we didn't like being the first on, last off. We it was one of the longest right. bus rides ever. But thank you so much in hindsight. <laughs> so much. That's right. House music all night long. Say what? Okay. Um, but I didn't have a white friend, someone that I considered an actual friend until I joined the military. Right. Uh, Nate. This guy's tall white guy from Ohio, Iowa, Iowa is, uh, and. We had we became friends because we had to share the same barracks and go to the same form. We had the same formations, go to the same chow line, exercise and all that stuff. And then we got to know each other. Same thing with him. He got to know me. And, you know, and I said, man, you know what? What's crazy is, is that we spend so much time focusing on the differences that we have with each other as opposed to embracing those differences and seeing how there are similarities. Because, I mean, who doesn't like a good movie? Who doesn't like good jokes? Who doesn't like great food? Who doesn't like a good sports uh, sporting event? We all like these types of things. Right. You have to, at some point, man, please, you have to stop letting hate become the reason why you are not getting to know your neighbor, man, because there's so much more shit you can learn from each other. At some point, you have to let that let the bullshit go... Here's what, let me tell you something, and, and then we—I guess we already go in a second. But here's what I never understood, dude. I've never understood how you could not like somebody that you've never met. Right. That's a weird thing but to me. It reminds me of Doug Stanhope used to do that, that joke about he's like these people are like I don't like they come here they don't speak the language they don't speak the language they don't speak the language he goes you know who does speak the language your neighbor he lives next door to you 15 years you've never fucking exactly. talked to him <laughs> <laughs> they don't speak that's the funny. language don't fucking talk to him like what, what the fuck <laughs> it's like that's funny but it's fucking true too it's like <laughs> it's like you, who the fuck cares if they don't speak the language I, I saw you saw one of those videos a guy of a guy bitching about somebody speaking Spanish at a Mexican, at a Mexican restaurant. restaurant it's like you realize that you have to order off the ra- off the menu that is in Spanish. Give me one of them things that's wrapped in a uh, <laughs> tortilla. No, I can't. Yeah, we can't. It's wrapped. It's it's wrapped in round bread, flat bread. Yeah, <laughs> I need a flat bread <laughs> wrap. Can you give me a and flat? Give me bread some wrap? of them beans that you not you fried them twice, <laughs> two three times. Yeah. Yeah, give me some of them. Yeah, anyway. All right, you guys. You know what? We got through that. Yeah, and and we we made it. We made it, and we're still here. Uh, we got to get ready to bounce, and uh, we'll see you next. We'll, we'll see you next time. And um, by the way, uh, again, we're not sure which way this is coming out. This is probably coming. We might be a couple more. We may have already talked about stuff. We got a few coming out. We're gonna be gone, but we'll be all the stuff you'll be able to download for the next couple weeks on iTunes on um. Uh, uh, Google, Play, Google Play, Stitcher. Please that. go rate and review us on iTunes. Only say it helps us when you de- even if you saw it here live on Facebook. Go download it. Let people know that you like it. Download it. Delete it. I don't give a shit. Just let them know that you're downloading that you watched it because they don't see the the metrics here. Thank you also, to everybody that stuck around. And I'm posting this again. Yes. The critical and thinking Patreon. Yes. Because. Go there. It's like yes. two bucks a month. It helps us pay the bills. Helps us keep coming. Patreon.com slash critical and thinking. You can find me at IanHarrisComedian.com and all my regular shits on there. And you can find Ty. At ComedianTyBarnett.com, which has links to all of the Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and all that. Has links to the website. I mean, not the website, but the uh, the podcast. Not the podcast. Uh, <laughs> God damn it. It uh, has links to the album. Uh, which shit is you do. Grown, yes, Grown Man Baby Steps. And the web series. This is the bullshit I'm talking about. Love each other, man. Love is so much easier. Loving <laughs> each other is so much more easier, man. Empathy. 
That's the only way this world is going to get better. Love and empathy. Thank you to everybody that stayed around, everybody that tuned in. Hey, Donald, sorry we're about to get out of here, but uh, you can go back and check out the show. Uh, and oh, thank you so much. Look, Mac, just signed up for the for the Patreon and all of thank that. You, thank, thank you so you. much. Hey, uh, yeah, love each other. We out. Critical thinking. Ty Barnett. Ian Harris. See you next time. Peace.